Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show how we can import Microsoft Teams chat records on an incident form in the form of either a work note or an additional comment. So the conversations which started from this particular ticket either using this icon next to the caller specific field or using the start Microsoft Teams chat button. So those conversations what all started from this particular ticket can be imported. Uh, if you can see in the work notes, a couple of conversations have started, a group chat also started. And if I go to the related links, as of now I cannot see the related link to import the chat records. So there are conditions to be met. A uh, few of the conditions include user should have either the ITL role or the incident right role. Incident should be active and user should have the access to write to that particular incident since i am logged in as an administrator for now i think those conditions are already met apart from these three conditions the only condition that remains is that in the system properties you know we need to update the ids so let's go and take a look at the system properties if i have already updated those ids or not so First one is the client underscore ID. So there is no value in here. And this is in the service now for Microsoft Teams application. So I need to specify the value over here, and this is the value of the client ID. from the service now for Microsoft Teams app that I created in the Azure portal. So I can save it now. And similarly, there is another property which I need to update and that one is for tenant ID let's update this one as well Okay, so now I have updated both the IDs. If I go back to my incident and I just need to reload the page and then I will be able to see those, see that related link. If I scroll down to the Related links. I can see the import messages from Microsoft Teams now, and if I click on it, Since I'm doing this for the first time, it is asking me for certain permissions and once I grant those permissions, it will load all the chats which started from this particular incident. So, these are the chats which started from this incident. First one is the group chat. And the second one is the individual one, which started with the user Jatin. So these are the messages which were sent over that chat today, and this was sent some time back. And here I can see the option to either copy the chat records to 
block notes or the additional comments so let's select additional comments for now if i click on import messages you can see here that the chat which started from this ticket is now available on the additional comments of the ticket so this is how we can import all the chat records that start from a particular ticket on the incident record either as an additional comment or as a work note and we can also see additional options available over here let me click on it again and here it is asking me to show the conversations the one first option is the conversation started from this record second is all the conversations and also i have an option to go for my one to one chat and if i select anything i want to import on the work notes i can do that And if I go to my work notes, the conversation is copied. So this is how we can configure this particular option. And I think it's a really cool feature. We don't have to attach all the mail trails and chase away one here and there and then write all the paragraphs in the work notes or addition comments on the ticket. We can simply import the chat records from the Microsoft Teams and everything will be in sync. So thank you for watching.